Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Storage here and we're back on the Channel 11 for the Trophy Push to Legend League. Right now we're at 3,800 trophies inside of Champions 1 and the goal for today is make it up to 4,001 trophies inside of Titans 3. And with the summer update released, we got access to two troops. The first one being the Super Hog Rider, which is inside of the Clan Castle. It is the only way to get it on the lower accounts. And I will be using the Queen Charge Hybrid. This is a really good army and works really well with the Super Hog Rider. So let's go ahead and start off our attacks and make our way up to Titan 3. And our first attack of the day is against a pretty common base design for Town 11 worth 31 trophies. We're gonna start off with our Queen Charge towards the bottom of the base to take out the Expos and eventually lead up to the Eagle Artillery. So we'll drop her actually right on top of this Dark Elixir Drill and then drop a couple of Sneaky Goblins on both sides. I think I will actually drop Baby Dragon on the left side because of that Barrack will lure the queen over to the left side of the base. We need that collector to go down, but I think a couple of archers will do for that. We'll wall break into the compartment to allow for the queen to push through over to the expos there. We're gonna have to use a raid spell, it looks like, to get her back up to full. She gets pretty low in health there, but she now is inside of the compartment, so she will eventually lead up all the way to the Eagle Artillery. We'll just take a couple of seconds. The healers are getting targeted now instead of the queen. Um, that may be a problem later on, but now we have to head on to the other side of the base or the other side of the funnel and dropping the king with the siege barrack and going to wall break in. Hopefully that it didn't mess it up and I didn't wall break in too late, but we're good. The king will head in all the way to the ER or the infirm tower. We're going to have to use the ability because that is on single. Looks like all the healers are still getting targeted by the uh, expo there, but the eagle is now going down so we can drop our main push into the base with the hog riders, the warden, and the hogs. We're going to go all the way into the center of the base. We're going to drop the uh, siege machine, and out comes the super hog riders going all the way over to join up with everything else in the core of the base. We're going to drop a heal and a rage through the top portion with the eagles gone so we can still wait on the warden's ability. We may actually use it towards the left side once all the hogs go up there. The hogs, the super hog riders, are working towards the top of the base. We have a warden ability, which I will drop right about now in case there are any giant bombs in this top compartment. And it looks like we will just get the three star without having to really use our spells. The queen's ability is used there. We're going to drop the rest of our troops towards the top of the base. And I will use the final heal and freeze towards the left side of the base here to get the three star for the first attack of the day for a plus 31 trophies. Do we still have both of the super hogs? We do, and they're basically probably at both full health. So we have a pretty decent attack. We'll head on to the next one with the queen charge hybrid. Moving on to another town hall 11 base here worth 31 trophies. We're gonna go from the very bottom yeah we'll go from the bottom actually we'll go from like the left side so that just in case there are any clan castle troops we can take it out with our queen charge so we'll drop her over here to head her into this compartment here we'll drop a couple of goblins to path her in towards that compartment and then dropping a couple of more goblins and actually baby dragon over here with another wall break for uh, the king and the siege barrack towards the very bottom of the base. So we've got a decent funnel going so far for both sides of the funnel. We'll drop the arch tower with the baby dragon looks like, very good. So even more pathing with that uh, baby dragon, a ton of value. So we'll drop the king and the barracks down there and one more wall break, which will allow us to open up into the uh, next compartment here. We'll drop a raid spell to get her back up to full. She's gonna get targeted by a bunch of defenses and also the uh, enemy queen. And she doesn't look like we don't have a uh, enemy clan castle. So we'll drop a poison spell on the queen and getting ready with a free spell for the single target inferno tower as it does lock on to the queen there. We'll get the rest of the hybrid going into the middle of the base and another freeze onto the Inferno Tower. It actually will rage up the Queen here through the portion of the base here. Drop a heal through the core and a rage spell as well. We don't have the Warden ability. We still have the Warden ability actually, and we still have to use that. So I think I will use it towards the back end. We don't really need it, honestly. We still have a heal spell, the King, the Clan Castle. Where is the Super Hogs? I'm not too sure where they are. Oh yeah, they're over here by the king. You can't really see them because of all the stuff around it, but that bomb will clear out some of 
the buildings. We'll use that last heal over here as the super hog riders go back up to full health. We still have the queen and the warden ability, so this attack strategy is incredibly easy to use and really overpowered as we get this three star on the second base of the day. And what should be the final base of the day is this Town Hall 11 worth 31 trophies. We're gonna go from the very top of the base because of the Eagle Artillery is towards that side so we'll go from the very top with our queen charge dropping it towards the top left a goblin on both of the collectors and then walk breaking in for the queen which she should head in after taking down the drill and this tesla hopefully she doesn't go for this tesla down here and good she's going to go into the base so now we can head over to the other side and create the other side of the funnel with the king the siege barrack and a wall breaking in there going to drop a baby dragon towards that top elixir collector and one more wall breaker towards the top of the base to allow for the queen to hopefully head in towards that eagle artillery uh, she is going to go towards the right side of the base we may have to drop the king's ability here as he is pretty low in health we have a clan castle which is a little bit of an issue um we're gonna drop the hybrid now i guess and push through the uh clan castle we're gonna have a poison spell for that i guess and a freeze just to keep up these hogs through this portion of the base the queen already used her ability and we're going to use the warren ability through here and make sure to get the hogs and the hybrid out of the way but we have some wizards taking down the electric dragons that is good so the clan castle is down now so now we have to worry about is getting this three star with the remaining troops that we have we have a couple of uh, spells still left to use the queen is still up which she did have to use her auto ability because i did kind of forget about that because the clan castle did distract me just a little bit we'll drop a freeze on that wizard tower and there still should be a three star it was a little bit of a close call with that clan castle if the wizards didn't take it down, I don't think I would have been able to get this three star, which up that last rate spell towards the bottom. But 31 trophies for this final attack, getting 31 trophies for every single attack throughout the day for today. Uh, but we're going to get up to Titan 3 after this attack finishes here. So let me speed this up real quick. And I'll come back once I get the three star. I didn't realize how quick I would have gotten that three star after ending that there. By 31 trophies heading back to the base, we now are back in Titan 3 at 4,100 trophies. There is the promotion animation there, not too bad. Now this is a brand new account, so this is my personal best. So I'm gonna try to push back up to a Legend League on this account to get the Legend League badge on this profile. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I do have plans of making a video about the Apprentice Warden here pretty soon. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you do wanna see that. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.